What we're going to talk about right now is the jab. So first of all, the positioning. We're in that fighting stance here. We've got the hands up. Generally speaking, when we're talking about the jab, we're going to be in the boxing range. So we're, our hands aren't going to be so forward from the kicking range. We're going to tighten them up a little bit closer because if we keep it here in the, in the uh, boxing range, then you're leaving yourself open for punches or clinches. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to utilize the wall as my reference position here. And I want to make sure the, the reason why I use the wall for the reference for beginners is because the elbow doesn't need to be out here. So a lot of beginners or novice persons, they'll have the elbow here and they'll do jabs kind of like a side fist, kind of like they're doing that where they're hitting with the side of the uh, glove instead of the front knuckles. Think about the last three knuckles making contact. So if I have a wall here, then the elbow can't push the wall back. It's not strong enough. I take my opposite glove and I put it right to my shoulders into my wrist. So that's what we call the B position. So if you're not sure if your hand should be out here or out here or how tight my front hand should be, just put a glove here bring it to the glove, take the glove out. So that's your B position. Then you step against the wall, and we have this format. We have a nice reference position where we're in a good defense position. The backhand's talking to mom, just like as if I were to hold a telephone, how would I talk to mom? I don't talk to mom down here, I don't talk to her out here. I pull it to my ears for tucking in. Now in a street fight, obviously you don't want it too far away because you don't want it coming back at you, and I don't want it too close where I'm gonna get vibration from the punches after they kick. So we have this position here. As I extend it out, I go about to the halfway point and I begin rotating my hands through the lifting of the sh <coughs> shoulders. So as you see my extension, you'll see this shoulder lifting up and touching my cheekbone. If I left my glove here, it comes back to that position. So what I don't want to see is I don't want to see this because then my face is open. I want to see this because then you have a protective side, so it's gonna be hitting my shoulders and not my hands. So this is a bad jab, so I'm gonna hit in the face. This is a good jab. So the drill looks like this. And I would do the same thing on the other side. I would just dig it out, position it here. Hands are up, back hand sucked in. Slow motion, I follow the wall. I lift my shoulder. Keep my chin down. Again, thinking about those last three knuckles making contact on the jab. 